morning world. Guess where we are? Somewhere special. Got up at 4.30 this morning, started the two and a half hour drive, and we have finally made it to the famous Lake Nipigon. Hey, So always wanted to fish here. It's our first opportunity for both of us. And we're actually in search of pike today. I'm really hoping to get the big pike I'm looking for. Had a great day out at Dog Lake yesterday. If you haven't seen, check out the previous video. And today we're not sure what's gonna happen, but we're sure as shit gonna try. Look at all the snow here still. <laughs> so much of it. So we're just walking down to the ramp just to scope it out, make sure everything's safe and honky-dory for us to launch. And we're gonna come down here and uh, go out that way somewhere. So we're supposed to have really nice weather today. It's a really big lake. For those that don't know, it's the 38th largest freshwater lake in the world. So it is massive. That's huge. <laughs> but yeah, this is what we're after. It's gonna be amazing. So there was something here at one point because in front of us was all the stirred up sand. It's the third brook trout we've seen now. That's not what we're hunting for. Like it's crazy. I don't know if the camera could catch it, but we're spotting like probably a dozen fish already. What I'm assuming based on the internet is it's all the brook trout in here. And like all around this is stirred up. Look right there, boom. One, four, five, six of them. Holy, that's crazy. That's crazy. Man, I hope the camera could catch this, but I'm like legitimately we're seeing a ton of fish all around us. So we went down that whole bay back out here and we're at the deepest water now, which has just hit five feet. So that was open sand and a foot and a half of water. So not exactly what we were looking for. There's no way the camera's gonna see that. I saw that though. It was a little pike. First pike we've seen. First pike we've seen. We're spot fishing right now. Oh, there's a trout. Just trolling our way. To some deeper waters here. Spent too much time in the foot deep. But we had to try what the guy said. Now we're kind of following the shoreline and the drop off here. Oh, I got it. Got it. First fish on. <laughs> Holy shit. Come on. Oh, we lost it. There it goes. <laughs> Fuck, that's my fault, man. Oh fuck. It's hard holding the camera in there. Yep. I think. What do we got? What do we got? Trout. Ooh. Got something. Oh look at that. Spit it out. Nice. Not what we're looking oh, for, buddy, but nice. you gotta stop moving around so much. You're so excited, eh? Hey. Right. It's a nice one. 
actually. So nice. Still searching. Trolling this whole shoreline, anywhere between 10 and 30 feet of water. Trying to stick to the shallow side, casting wherever we find the spot to. No luck yet. They're hiding. Nothing under it? No, it's just open water under it. That's solid ice. <laughs> That's solid. I wouldn't even break that with an oar. The only opening is on that side. a good area here there's already a boat here hard luck okay we've been in this area for like 30 seconds scouting finally got past that boat when they gave us room and right away we've seen three or four follow-ups back to back right in that grass over there the only thing is we're trying to get a little distance from those people yeah Three. One, two, three. I can't. <laughs> I see it. That's crazy. Little guy, but he bet. Got one. Nice buddy, first pike from Lake Nip again. Sweet. Not bad at all. Another one, look at that. There's a million in here. I don't know if the camera can see that, but look, there's another pike right there. They're all around us. Two, three. I think we're gonna, just cause you see that, get out of the river. I think uh, maybe they're just finishing up their spawn. I don't know if to see pike that close together in those frequent amounts, it just doesn't seem normal. So, we're making our way back out of here now. And maybe whatever's outside at the lake is already done spawning business and looking to be eating but yeah we've seen maybe what would you say almost two dozen already more, more than two dozen in like 10 minutes of all different sizes yeah. look they're just look, another one they're just all around this pike all around this. yeah it's fun to watch Well, after a very, very bumpy ride, we are back at the launch here. Kyle just went to get the car. So, to summarize the day, we went past where we needed to go, found the, the trout, found a lot of shallows. Finally, at the back end of the day, we found a creek that was just full and full and full of pike everywhere. But uh, after a couple casts, it kind of became apparent they weren't really biting and it looked like maybe they're still spawning in there. I mean, this lake was only frozen last week. So we decided to leave there, saw how choppy the water was and decided to head home. So not a lot of fish today on the boat, but when you're in remote like this, exploring lakes like this with everything else we saw, spotting all those bike, what more can you ask for? It was a great day. So. That's it for this one. There's a uh, cow. I gotta help him get this puppy out of the water and go from there. So, see you on the next one.